Okay, the last video we started showing you how the schedule is going to start updating from production. Um, when we imported we, um, releases for fabrication, we got quantity and weight. We also had hours coming over from the estimate. So the, this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how this percent complete will automatically update based off of certain things happening um, in your system. So we're going to handle detailing first. So if I go to detailing that task, it's going to update it or that percent complete is going to, to update based off the drawings that are approved. So if drawings come back approved, it's going to show us the percentage of those drawings that have come back from approval. So I'm going to go back to the drawing log then. And I'm going to just work with um, sequence one. So let's go down here. We'll filter for sequence one. I'm going to show all of those as having been approved. So I'm going to global edit all of those. Okay. And maybe I'll do sequence two. I'll just do part of sequence two, showing them as approved as well. So I'll just select a few there. So I'll let it selected and say that those have come back from approval and they are approved. And so now when I go back to our schedule, when I hit update status up here, we should see that the percent complete for sequences one and two on detailing um, should have a status there. Sequence one should be 100% and sure enough it is. And then sequence two is 27% complete. So 27% of the drawings in sequence two have come back and are approved. So that just updates automatically and you're probably returning those back on a transmittal and marking them as approved and this will just automatically update, which is really awesome. Now, fabrication. Let's handle fabrication. Um, we had this set up in our schedule to update by production progress. Now remember, production progress versus production completed. Production progress is the percentage of stations that, that um, material has gone through in your shop. So if you've got, um, let's take one piece as an example. If you had four stations that a piece is going to go through and it's been through two, then it should show us 50% complete. So it's going to look at the total number of stations that everything's supposed to go through and then give us a, a percent complete based off of those stations that have been done. So let's go to production control, go to our job. We are going to go to piece tracking. Now, I'm going to update cut saw. Hopefully, here's my little lecture. Hopefully, you're going to be doing this with EPM Go out at the actual saw. But you can do it this way if you want to. And some of you may be doing it. It's perfectly functional that way. It is just not live. Highly encourage you to go EPM Go. It will make your entire system live. So, I've got some material that has gone through our saw, 295 pieces, 27,000 pounds. If I go back over to our schedule now, we should see that sequence one will get a percent complete when I hit the update status here. And sure enough, we did. We've got 20% complete now, which is absolutely awesome. I didn't have to do anything but do what I'm doing in the shop anyway. If I'm processing that on the cut list on the saw, it's just going to update on, on the schedule. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do some layout and welding as well. As that continues to go through the shop, um, then we're going to mark those as complete as well. So let me filter for sequence one again. And we'll say some of those have gone through. I'm going to go add material. So I'll mark some of those as having been done also. Now if I go back to the schedule again, and we should see that that 20% should go up. We're going to update status. 36% complete. Um, so 36% of the stations have been completed as, as it's gone through the shop. So this is really what starts setting this schedule apart from like Microsoft Project or Primavera or whatever. Pick your, pick your scheduling software. This doesn't have to be updated manually. It's going to be updated by you just doing what you're doing in, in the shop or just processing like I did, but hopefully you're doing that with EPM Go. 
this is the really powerful part of this where things start updating. You can see it automatically in your schedule. Really awesome. Hope this helps you. Let me know if you got any questions on it.